What's up, Nail Geeks? I am rounding out today's post with a new release set from Cuticula, and we have the red, white, and blue trio, which is shown on the collage, and we also have a re-release of the shade Elaine, which is that really pretty blue in the bottom left. So there are several things to check out here. So without further ado, let's get started. So first up is Spangled. This is a white curly with blue, red, and silver metallic flakes. On release individually, this one will be nine. So this has a true curly formula. I do appreciate that the base is a touch lighter. So as you build it up, you'll get a really strong pond effect with the flakes. I had no issues with those. Um, as you build up your coats, you're gonna get a really nice payoff from them. And you'll see here in a moment between the second and third coat, it gets real obvious. And that base color is what I would consider a true stark white. So no tint or anything like that to it. And it really lets those flakes pop like crazy. I did enjoy that they do give their own little sparkle kind of thing going on. Now this one does dry down quite a bit on the flat side. So I'm gonna suggest a really strong glossy top coat just to seal everything in and really make those little flakes pop like crazy. I really liked um, the formula on this one. It was really smooth and it was light enough to really get that buildup factor, um, but still easy enough to build it up. Now I do wanna note that I do consider myself having a prominent free edge. So if you are like myself, then um, you might wanna wear a color correcting base with this one, as you can see just a hint of your smile line in the final look. So here I'm topping off with Limitless Top Coat, which is also from Cuticula, and you can see just how glossy and sealed in everything is. Um, really, really nice with a glossy top coat, though I can also see this one looking awesome mattified too. And next we have Firecracker Crush. This is a festive mix of red, blue, and silver holographic flakes in a clear base. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going in and being super festive and I'm just going ham. This is another way that you can wear either toppers with flakes or toppers with glitter. So I want to really point it out there big neon signs on my middle finger. I am wearing one coat of firecracker crush over a white base. And then I'm going in and sponging it on, on my index finger to show you guys how you can another way to wear toppers like this. So I wanted to really go ham with it. I really liked how the flakes in this one, they are metallic like, but they are holographic in their own respect. So really strong sparkle factor, whether you wear it, on its own like I did on my middle finger or if you wanted to sponge it on and really go ham with it um, like on my ring finger. Just throwing it out there too, when you sponge this one, because those flakes are of the larger type, sponging it on and wearing it like this is going to make it just a touch thirsty for top coat. Otherwise, if you wear it standard like how I did on my middle finger, then texture isn't really an issue. So on my middle finger, I did need to do just a little bit of placement with the flakes since they are larger, but I had no issues with needing to fish or anything like that. So regardless, I think it looks really cool. So finally going in and sealing all things up with Limitless Top Coat. On my pinky and my index nails, I am wearing Cherry Slush and Elaine, which is a polish I'll get to here in just a moment. And I use those stamped to make that nice um, kind of exploding firecracker look. Um, if you guys joined the Cuticula Facebook group, some of the other bloggers did some really pretty nail art um, for like a 4th of July type of theme. It looks really cool. Um, so definitely get in there and check that out too. See other people's ideas and um, the really cool nail art that they did with it too. And here is Jubilant Sparkle. This is a ring from the Crafty Taco that goes along with the uh, other two polishes in the red, white, and blue trio. This is a 12 millimeter hand painted glass in an adjustable silver toned brass based setting. It's lead and nickel free. Um, this will be 750 on its own. So it is hand painted, so no two rings are alike. And like I said, you can adjust it if need be. So Elaine is a one coat sapphire blue with sparkling flakes and silver holographic pigment throughout. This was originally released as a sprinkle of the month, month in a previous month. Now, if you guys are a blue polish lover fan like myself and you like those really vibrant, deep type of jewel tones, 
Um, I can't rave about this one enough. One coat and it's got a beautiful, smooth, wonderful formula. It applies crazy opaque on the nail and it gives that strong depth like feel with the silver holographic pigment in it. So really glowy. And then I topped off with Limitless, which I would recommend once again, a glossy top coat on this one. And it's just so pretty. I think this is gonna look fantastic on any skin tone. Really lovely blue. I'm digging this one so hard. It's gorgeous. Now, because Elaine was a sprinkle of the month, we are going to go ahead and test it out for stamping. I'm using a, pl a plate and a stamper from Queen Cosmetics, and you can see here it stamps wonderfully. Now, over white and much lighter base colors, it pops really well as a blue stamping polish. And in a moment, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like over black. It does take on a little bit more of a subtle appearance on the black base but you really get to see all that holographic pigment so once again i am doing the bead method for applying limitless top coat so i can prevent any smearing and it really seals everything in and gives that nice gel like look to your nails and here on the final look you can see the comparison between um, the lightest type shade and the darkest type shade for stamping like I said, most of the holographic pigment will pick up on the dark side and then on the light side, you'll really get the blue pigment. So the red, white, and blue trio, you, you can grab them in different options. Individually, Spangled and Firecracker Crush will be nine on their own, or you can get the full set, which includes Spangled, Firecracker Crush, and the Crafty Taco Ring for 22, or you can grab the two polishes, so Spangled and Firecracker Crush for 16 for the duo. Elaine, of course, is not part of the um, Red, White, and Blue trio. However, um, it, it's also really re-releasing during this launch. So I thought they looked really cool together, and I thought it paired up really well with Cherry Slush too. Um, I have a review video for that up, so I highly recommend you guys checking that out um, if you are interested in that red polish in the video too. So I will link you guys below to Cuticula's shop if you want to check that out. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.